This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Two people are dead after a head on crash in Claremont County. Investigators say 26 year old Jose Nolan crossed the center line on Bethel New Richmond Road in Tate Township. He hit another car. Both Nolan and his 17 year old passenger, Austin Rose, were killed. The driver and passenger in the other car were taken to the hospital and have serious injuries. A police chase ends when the suspect's vehicle crashes into another car downtown. Officers tell us this started when they saw the suspect in a drug deal. The driver took off when they tried to pull him over. Investigators say he hit the other car at 8th and Walnut. The two people in that car were taken to the hospital. They have minor injuries. Police say the suspect driver was already wanted in Texas. A vigil was held Friday night for a seven year old girl who died after she was hit by a car in Avondale. Authorities say Sharice Lattimore and a friend ran out into Vine Street Tuesday when they were hit. The other little girl will be okay. Police say the 17 year old driver stayed on the scene and is cooperating with that investigation. A date is now set for contractor Doug Evans to report to prison. It's been delayed several times because of COVID concerns. He will start his 21 month sentence June 4th. Evans was convicted in 2018 of creating a shell company to win demolition contracts from the state of Ohio and the city of Cincinnati that were intended for minority owned businesses. Evans will be fully vaccinated in late May and the judge ruled that he will not issue any more delays following that. Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. As we look at your weekend forecast, we've got plenty of sunshine. Get out, you take a nice walk, and it's going to be pleasant. Uh, very seasonal to 60 degrees uh, for our afternoon. Then as we head to uh, Easter tomorrow, whether it's an Easter egg hunt or maybe your services, you're going to find it a little chilly in the morning, but pleasant as we go through the day. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s. My nine-day shows as we head into next week, temperatures are climbing into the 70s.